Okay, <clears throat> we're at um, question two of this paper. What it says is that you need to factorize in part one, factorize 6y squared minus 18xy. Let's look at this. Then start writing over here. <coughs> Six, what, what you're going to do is look for common factors. See if you can divide the 6y square by any of these ver any of these um, numbers or letters that can also divide the 18xy. All right? So you're going to have some expression outside of these brackets. Then you must multiply expressions inside so you can get back this. So you're going to say, in terms of numbers, what can go into 6? And also go into 18 without leaving a remainder. Of course, it is 6 itself. So 6. Now, 6 must multiply what? Whatever you're going to put here. 6 must be able to multiply it and give you back 6. And whatever you're going to put here, 6 must multiply it and give you 18. Alright? So, let's see how this will go. 6 times 1. 6 times 1 will give you 6. You see that? 6 times what will give you 18? It's 3. So 6 times 3 gives you 18. And remember, you have a minus sign in the middle. You're looking for the letters now. Which letter can go into y square and also go into y? It's not y square because y square cannot go into y. So you have to step down a bit. Y can go into y square. And y can go into y. If you say y squared over y, y into y1, y into y squared goes y. So you get an answer. If you say y over y, y into y goes 1. So y can actually work in that case. So you put y outside the bracket as a common factor. y can go into y squared without leaving a remainder y into y squared goes y times y into y goes one time now what about the x you're going to have to leave the x there or you could put a 1 and say 1 can go into x if you put a 1 here 1 can go into x without leaving a remainder now let's see what happened. 6 times 1 give you 6. 6 times 3 give you 18. Letters. Y times Y gives you Y squared. Y times 1 gives you Y. 1, well, 1 times 1 just gives you 1. But 1 times x, 1 here times x gives you x. Alright, so let's rewrite everything and leave out the 1. It's 6 and y, open bracket, you have y minus 3x, you don't need the 1 anymore 
So let's see what happened here. You have six y times y give you six y squared and six y times three x give you six three is eighteen y times x is x y so so far so good so this the answer for this part is six y y minus three x now for part two four m squared minus one this part is factorizing the difference of two squares now you have a shortcut way of dealing with this although you can use the ac method to factorize it the ac method of factorizing a quadratic expression well let's see what happened here you have 4, we are done with this part, alright, 4m squared minus 1. Now, you're looking for the squares, it's the difference of two squares. Difference mean minus, what is it that you must square to get the 4? It's 2, so 4 is 2 squared. You already have this written out, you square m to get the m squared, so you have m squared. What is it? You must square to get 1. It is 1, so it's 1 squared. Now the shortcut for this, that you're going to have two brackets. In the corner, the left-hand corner of each bracket, you have what is on the left, that you square. And by the way, I could rewrite the 2m, two 2m two square, square now, as 2m uh, squared minus one squared. All right, good. What is it that you square here? It is two m. So on the left, you write what it is that you square on the left of each bracket. You on the right, it is one that you square. So you write back one, and then. You always have a plus and a minus. So, that's what you have. Now, you can always test and see. Um, you can always test and see what you will get when you actually work out back everything. Alright? So, let's see. 2m use um 2m times 2m will give you 2m squared 2m times negative 1 is a minus 2m 1 times 2m is a plus 2m and 1 times negative 1 is a minus 1 but guess what happened in the middle here negative 2m plus 2m is 0 so all you're left with is 2m squared minus 1. Look familiar? No. 2m times 2m is 4m squared. So all you're left with is 4m squared minus 1. 4m squared minus 1. 4m squared minus 1. So you see it up there, right? See it right here. Just testing it a bit to see, make sure it is right. It is right. Now this part, part 3. Alright. Let me just write down the answer for this first. What you have is 2m plus 1, 2m minus 1. So that's what you have. Now let us see the next part, part 3. We're looking at part 3 now. Alright? You have 2t squared minus 3t minus 2. You're going to use what is called the AC method. <coughs> you have 
this in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. You have to review the AC method to really understand this. In this case, A, you have to properly identify A, B, and C. A is 2. B is what? Is not 3. It's negative 3. C is and C here is not 2, it is negative 2. Alright? So, you have A by C. AC gives you 2 by negative 2. And that amounts to what? Negative 4. So, the number that multiplied the T square times the number at the end give you a negative 4. You must now think of two numbers. Those two numbers, they multiply and they give negative 4. And the thing is, they add and they give what is in the middle here, negative 3. Now, which two numbers multiply to give negative 4 and add to give negative 3? have to try and find out for negative 4 which two numbers add uh, which two numbers multiply to give negative 4 you have negative 1 and 4 you have 1 and negative 4 you have 2 and negative 2 all of these multiply to give negative 4 now we want to find out which of them add to give negative 3. Negative, negative 1 plus 4 give you a positive 3, not negative 3. This is all. Negative 2 plus negative 2 is the same as 2 minus 2. And that gives you 0. So these are out. Let's try this. 1 plus negative 4 is the same as 1 minus 4, which is negative 3. So, we have 1 and negative 4. So, what you do is have 2t squared at one end and minus 2 at the other. You split the middle part into the two numbers, 1 and negative 4. So, here you have neg 1 minus 4 will give you negative 3. So, A positive 1t. Let me remove part of that. Positive 1t. That's the one part. Plus negative. Well, it's minus 4t. That's what you have. So 2t squared, a positive 1t minus 4t will give you a negative 3t. Good. You see that? Now, what we're going to do is factorize the first two parts of this expression and the second two. Make sure that you have two brackets and the same thing in the brackets. If you factorize 2t squared plus 1t you're going to have t outside the bracket and you have 2t plus 1 so remember what you have happen is that is that T into 2t squared goes 2t. In other words, if you multiply t by 2t, you get 2t squared. And if you multiply t by 1, you get 1t. Although usually you don't need to write the 1 in front of the t. After that, you're going to have another bracket. Make sure it's the same thing in the second bracket. What can go into 4t the, into negative 4t and into negative 2t at the same time without leaving a remainder 
it is 2. But is it positive or negative 2? Let's see. If you say positive 2 into negative 4t, you're going to have a negative 2t here. And it will be different from the positive 2t here. So try negative 2 instead. Negative 2 into negative 4t give you a positive 2t. So far, so good. It must be the same thing in this bracket. So let's continue. Negative 2 into negative 2 give you a positive 2. No, it gives you a positive 1. What am I doing? gives you a positive 1. 2 into 2 goes 1. So, review it. Negative 2 times neg positive 2t gives you negative 4t. Negative 2 times positive 1 gives you negative 2. Good. After that, you factorize again. Consider this thing here as a common factor and put it outside the bracket 2t plus 1 and you have outside this bracket now 2t plus 1 times something here will give you t 2t plus 1 is t anything times t give you that thing t minus 2t, I close the bracket early, 2t plus 1 times something here gives you negative 2t plus 1. No. This is a positive. You must multiply a negative to give you a negative. And this 2t plus 1 multiplies something to give you that something 2t plus 1. So it's going to be 2. So that, again, 2t plus 1 times 2 times negative 2, giving negative 2, 2t plus 1. We can't factorize anymore. So we got the answer right here. So that is part a of question 2. The answer is 2t plus 1 t minus 2. Good.